What's up? Chicken butt. <laughs> now that I got my funny business out of the way and the girls got to say hi, let's start unboxing this big bad boy here. We are going to do the Dynaglow 23,800 BTU portable kerosene heater. Kerosene heaters are a pretty big topic right now on the internet because everybody's looking for alternative heating methods because as you all know, electricity prices are going up, propane's going up, oil's going up, everything's going up due to inflation and everybody's looking around for alternative means to heat their homes, heat their shops. You can find these right now at Lowe's and they're retailing for approximately $159 $160. So when you first open up your box, the first thing you should see is dun, 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 the instruction manual. This is the Bible to your unit. Underneath that manual, you're going to see the batteries and a package of screws. And then this is what it's going to look like inside your box. Part of the cage covering, handle, <laughs> there we go. So you're going to notice your heater already has about half of the cage on. So we're going to take it apart because it's not sitting on here properly. You're going to notice these little hooks right here. Make sure you got the prongs pointed down so it hooks properly. The front side of it has a little opening here and the reason for that is to be able to get into that little door knob adjuster there. So make sure you put them on in the correct way otherwise you're gonna find yourself turning it around. Now that we got the cage on the heater unit, you're gonna take your top piece and you're gonna notice those little holes there. They need to line up with these little guys right here. And that's where your handle is actually gonna slide through and secure it in place. Then you're gonna take your handle and you are gonna have to pull it apart just a little bit. And you know it's secure when you pull up on this top and it doesn't even come off. There you go. This little package of screws right here, that's what's gonna hold on the top. And you're gonna take it, there's holes on each side, and you're gonna line it up. Now, once you feed your screws through, you're gonna notice that your top piece is probably gonna bend a little bit. And I only got one side on, and you can already tell like this side is not lining up. When you go to screw it in, it's gonna pinch together. Dynaglue is pretty awesome in the fact that batteries are included with their products. The battery door is pretty simple. You just pop it open, slide your batteries in, close it up. So this is everything that's gonna come in your Dynaglow box. The actual heater, you're gonna get a kerosene pump, the instruction manual, and batteries included. The only tool you're gonna find yourself needing is a Phillips screwdriver. If you find yourself getting lost along the process of putting this kerosene heater together, the manual is really great with pictures, explanation, it'll show you everything you need to know. Dynaglow is very specific when it comes to their products. This notice you're going to find hanging on to the dial knob. Uh, it says it right there, use number 1K water clear kerosene only. Think of it like this guys. You buy a car that runs on gasoline, you know you're supposed to put gasoline in it, so that's what you do, because if you put anything other than gasoline in it, you know you're gonna cause some problems. Things are gonna start not working right, it's not gonna perform right. Same thing with you know any other manufactured product that requires fuel. Use what you're supposed to be using in it so you get the most out of it. I forgot to mention this and I'm not really sure why I missed it, but Dynaglow is awesome and they provide you with your first wick. Your kerosene heater does come with a wick in it. The last piece to this heater setup is going to be to go get my clear K1 kerosene. Get the fuel put in it. I'm not gonna use the little siphon pump that it comes with. I actually prefer to use a funnel and I pour it right out of my kerosene can. I just finished capping it and I wanna show you some features that are on the actual unit. This is what your fuel gauge is gonna look like. You'll see it says full, half, and empty. And then on top it says eight, four, and zero. 
that stands for the hours of runtime that you're gonna get. Personally, I've noticed when I burn clear K1 kerosene, I can actually get about 10 to 12 hours out of the um, Dynaglow unit. Uh, and that's with having the wick set at manufactured suggested height. This is the emergency shutoff switch. So when you touch that switch, the dial is actually gonna turn and it's gonna lower that wick all the way down and it'll put the flame out. This is your ignition switch basically. So when you push that button, it'll ignite the heater. This right here is your model number for your Dynaglow unit. And the reason that number is important is because when you go to get your replacement wick, you need to know what your model number is so that you get the correct size wick that fits in this model. The very last step is to let your kerosene sit in your unit for one hour. And the reason for that is to give your wick a chance to soak up the kerosene so that you can properly uh, start your unit. And in case you're new to the kerosene heaters and you've never changed out a wick before, I'm gonna post the uh, link up here in one of these corners. And I did a full video tearing it down, pulling out the wick, and you can watch it step by step before you, you know, get your hands dirty so you know what you're up against. So that, my friends, is gonna do it for me today, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye now.